All right, guys, this is going to be hard for me to get through. Listen, if you want to support this channel, hit that thumbs up button and share this video. I really want you to share this video. This is something everybody should see, including the people who are, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say the term. I don't want to polarize anybody because I want as many people to be on our side as possible, but you got to stop licking boots. You got to stop being in the corner of the thin blue line when they continue to do this kind of stuff. And they do this. This isn't out of the ordinary, but I'm going to show you. This isn't some rare occurrence that happens off in a corner somewhere. This is what cops do every single day because power corrupts and absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. If you want to support this channel, please don't send a super chat. I, I, I'm, I'm sick of giving platforms like this money. Plus, if you give for every $10 you get, give, they take 30 or 40%. That's three or four bucks. So if you want, uh, you know, reach out to me on Snapchat or not Snapchat. What am I talking about? Uh, what's it called? Um, Cash app and buy me a coffee. Real quick, buy me a coffee is Douglas F., Thank you, Dan, uh, <clears throat> Dan A, someone, Spud Mud, uh, B Harrington, Paul, uh, Doug F B, Alan S, uh, and Sasha R for the buy me a coffees and real quick on the and, and the, another thing is they demonetize it's monetized right now, but as soon as this thing starts rendering and becomes a live video, they demonetize it. They did it on my last video. So thank you, Sam Sam D for the Cash App, Abraham S, Christopher G, William, <clears throat> Sam D again four times. Lawrence, Zechariah, and this guy right here. Does anybody remember his name? Matthew Schneider. Matthew Schneider was after the brutal, the abuse of Johnny Wheatcroft in front of his family and his two screaming kids was featured a month later on Live PD as the face of the Glendale Police Department. Well, he pled guilty today. Let me, I'm going to play this. I, I, I'm just speechless, guys. <clears throat> Wait till you see the corrupt injustice system and what this cop, cop received for his criminal activity. If you or I did... At first, it's six. If you or I did to Johnny Wheatcroft right here, what Matthew Schneider officer, former officer Matthew Schneider did to Johnny Wheatcroft, we wouldn't see the light of day for a long, long time. Listen to this. This is ABC 15, Arizona. Thank goodness for Dave Biscabing. He is a he is a on the scene reporter. And if it wasn't for this guy, we wouldn't have the body cam of the abuse of Johnny Wheatcroft. And these cops would have got away with almost, almost murder. At first at six, for almost two years, the public never knew about this disturbing abuse of force. They hid it for two years. Tell me that the Glendale Police Department is interested in transparency and accountability and personal responsibility. Glendale officer lying about a traffic stop and then kicking and tasering a handcuffed man in the growing. But then we got this video after our reports. Former clear, they could clearly see what we see in this body cam. He's wrapped up in his seatbelt. As a matter of fact, it was so bad. And he was getting getting abused so much, he, he couldn't. He was being tased, and he's wrapped up in a seatbelt. His little kid had to reach down and get him out of the seatbelt. It's just freaking infuriating, man. This is such injustice. The injustice is law. You'll wait till you see what the freaking judge says. Almost like the judge is his mommy. Oh, it's okay, little guy. You just made a little mistake. You're, you're really good for the public. We need to release you into the public so you can do this to more innocent people. This video, after our reports, former officer Matthew Snyder was charged with multiple felonies. And now we finally know his fate. He just pleaded guilty to a much lesser his crime. Fate. Here's ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscabing. The plea deal was for a single disorderly conduct charge. Did you hear that? He was pleading guilty to what? A misdemeanor charge. What was the misdemeanor? Disorderly conduct. Not brutality, not abuse, not assault, not malicious assault. They ganged up on this dude on a 108 degree day, threw him in handcuffs down to the hot asphalt while his kids were screaming and they continued to tase him, pull his shorts down and tase him in the groin. The guy got tased 11 times. Now that's a misdemeanor. And in this case, the judge decided there would be no jail and no probation, just a small fine. Thank you, please be seated. It's the sentencing hearing for former officer Matthew Schneider. This grainy video from the courtroom's video system. The sentencing comes five years. I actually don't need to show this on a live stream right here. So let me just move this along. You guys are pretty familiar with, I'll, I'll show some, I'll show some, um, you know, just some static scenes here, but I'm not going to play this. I appreciate, thanks, thanks, Grace and M for that, that $20 cash app. I really appreciate that. I will call, call out every cash app guys and, or, or buy me coffees or whatever, but I'm not going to play this because you guys are, you guys are aware of what happened to Johnny Wheatcroft. And if you're not, I'll try to, let's see more on this incident from local news. Let's see if I can, uh. If I can find the actual original video, Lackluster did a really good job on it. And if I'm not mistaken, James Freeman did, did a piece on it. But I just want to show you the ruling right here because they actually have courtroom cameras to record with the with the robe tyrant behind the desk said about Matthew Schneider. And then pulled down his pants and stunned him. Schneider accepted a plea deal from the Arizona Attorney General's office. And this is what he told the judge ahead of his sentencing. Your Honor, I'm standing before the court today as something in a million years 
that I would have never dreamed I'd be a convicted criminal. As you know, I come from a law enforcement family. It's hard to describe the shame I felt telling the people who raised me and were excellent role models that I'd be pleading guilty today. Yeah, guilty to a misdemeanor, not guilty for abusing somebody worse than anybody. Like, you would think the way they came at Johnny Wheatcroft, he had just gotten done blowing away people at a bank or a grocery store or a school. You'd think they were, he was in the middle of just a shootout. That's how they treated Johnny Wheatcroft. Over the top. And not only that, what was it for? It was for a lie. And the lie, I mean, they, these guys got away with lying, fabricating charges, abusing and brutalizing this guy, you know, basically apprehending and seizing and harassing this entire family. Un, I mean, literally off the charts. They did everything but kill Johnny Wheatcroft. It was even harder when I had to tell my kids. I accept full responsibility for my actions on July 26, 2017. He wouldn't if he knew he was up for, to 20 years to life. All he, all he knows he's going to get is, hey, just plead guilty to this misdemeanor charge of disorderly conduct, get a $115 charge. You're not even going to get probation. It's going to be great. And if you wait just a little while, you'll become a police officer again. Maybe not in the Glendale Police Department, maybe in the next county over. I tried to do my absolute best as a police officer and a human being that day. And it now, I want to I want to pause here. I try this. This what you see in the video, Judge, is me trying my absolute best. He uses the words, quote, absolute best as a police officer and a human being. That's the best he can do It's harassing somebody, trumping up a charge that, you know, even if they did do a turn signal violation, those cops wouldn't have known it. They were behind the building for an additional 16 seconds before they even saw the vehicle backing into the parking lot of the Motel 6. So they trumped up a charge. They made everything up. They lied about it on the report afterwards. They dragged this guy out of his car in front of his kids. His kid had to unseat him from the seatbelt, tased him 11 times, once in the groin, threw him on the hot asphalt on a 108 degree day, almost killed the guy. And then the guy, here's, here's another thing. Johnny Wheatcroft spent 60 freaking days in jail for having done nothing wrong. And this guy didn't see one minute of jail time. And, but, but what you see on the video with that abuse and the screaming and the children going, oh my God, my dad's going to die. What's going on? That was my absolute best as a police officer and a human being. Matthew Snyder, if this was your absolute best, I'm a little concerned for society. There's no way I can let you out in society is what the judge should say. But she's not going to say that. Far from it. And it wasn't good. Yeah, it's not good. That's not good enough. Th these are the words of a psychopath to literally still think that that was your absolute best. Everybody in this courtroom, and I don't know why the film is so grainy, but this is the courtroom uh, surveillance cameras or whatever. I don't know what, I don't know if they got them from the 1970s uh, yard sale or something, but it's it's horrible. Wasn't good enough. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play that again. It's just so freaking laughable and sad. I tried to do my absolute best as a police officer <laughs> and a human being that day, and it wasn't good enough. Hey, get in front of the car right now. Get in front of the car. Come on. You're Look at this kid. Look at this kid. This kid is beside himself with grief, not knowing what to do with these bad law enforcers. These freaking monsters are, are dogpiling their, his dad. He doesn't know if his dad's going to live. He doesn't know if when he goes home tonight or if he's going to go home tonight, if he's going to have a dad or a mom. This kid was tormented. I don't know what the settlement is, but, I, you know, it's, it's got to be in the millions. It's not been disclosed. Uh, Grayson M., thank you for that. That uh, Oh, Grayson M., I already gave you a shout out. Thanks for the 20 bucks. Uh, Express sympathy for Schneider. He list. suffered. Brandon Mitchell, thanks for the five bucks and pace pay, pace on base. Thanks for the ten bucks on the on the cash app. Judge Patricia right, Stodd, express on, sympathy for Schneider. He list. suffered for the last five and a half years the consequences of what happened. <laughs> what the frick? You suffered, Matthew. You suffered, Matthew Schneider. You suffered. You suffered for the last five and a half years. What about Johnny Wheatcroft? You didn't go to jail, Matthew. Johnny Wheatcroft did. You didn't get tased in front of your family and suffer, you know, I don't, I can't remember what the extent of his other injuries were, but the shame and humiliation and pain, you didn't suffer that, Matthew. Johnny Wheatcroft did. You're not going to have to pay Johnny Wheatcroft and the millions in the settlement or whatever it is. I can only assume, I mean, this is a clear cut case of serious police abuse and brutality. I can only imagine if he had a halfway decent lawyer, there's going to be millions rolling Johnny's way and he's not going to be driving a Ford Taurus next year. But that doesn't come out of Matthew Snyder's pocket. Such BS. You suffered the last five years, Matthew. The consequences of what happened. Here's the consequences of what happened. Your family has suffered the consequences of what happened. You want it again? Shut your mouth! Yes, okay, I, don't know if he's, I don't know if he's roid raging, but this is beyond the pale, guys. Beyond the pale. He's flipped his ever-loving lid, man. I'm surprised that as he was bending over, his brains just didn't spill out because he lost it. 
and all of us, not one good cop. Another, another thing that we've got to highlight, not one good cop on the scene to hold back Matthew Snyder and go, dude, this ain't right. This guy clearly did nothing wrong. His partner in the car should have said, you, there's no way you saw that they didn't put a blinker on when they turned into the Mosel 6 parking lot. And even if they did, this doesn't justify that. You shouldn't, nobody should be economically terrorized for a freaking blinker anyway. If they cause a traffic accident, then deal with it afterwards. You see this roadside, roadside piracy operation, this intruding into people's lives, this unwelcomed harassment. It's just mind boggling, man, that anybody would still sing, we will back the blue. We'll stand together. We will back the blue. It just makes me, ugh. Run around with you. Here's a timeline of the case. The crime, July 2017. Nearly two years later, we publicly exposed the video in February 2019. Yeah, but hold on, Dave Biscabang. You forgot one thing. After this incident right here, Johnny Wheatcroft is in jail for two months, for 60 days. Former Governor Doug Ducey called for a new investigation, but criminal back. charges would not come until right 2021. God, and before if it, that, if it Schneider was you and me, boom, the hammer of justice would have fallen on us, man. No lag time, no lead time, no no uh, no hiding of camera evidence. They would have already seized your camera and they would have disseminated it to the public. Too sweet, man. Forfeited his certification and Glendale approved an accidental disability claim, allowing him to retire with a pension and benefit. Oh, we got a loophole. We got a loophole for you, Matthew. We got this little retirement. You're going to get your retirement. Don't worry, because the thin blue line covers for his fellow thugs. He should have lost everything. The way Matthew Snyder was acting right here, and not just Matthew Snyder, but every every cop in that in that little group right there that let this happen, all of Matthew Snyder's little accomplices, every one of them should have been stripped of their badges, stripped of their uniforms, put on state-funded uniforms, body cavity check, and go into prison probably for the rest of their lives. How many times do you think, if they drop that qualified immunity, if they, top, they drop that Terry v. Ohio thing, how many cops do you think would continue doing this stuff right here? And then, and then it's going to monetarily affect you and your family, copper. It's what not a lot of people do is you picked yourself up, you found something else, and you're now excelling at that. Um, so I would see no purpose whatsoever to put you on probation. I see what's happened in the last five and a half years and the loss of your career. Oh, poor Matthew, I saw what happened to you. Hey, judge, somebody got severely abused and brutalized. What if that was your brother? What if that was your father? What if that was your son? What if that was you, judge? I don't even know. what What's what's this judge's name? I don't even know what the, it says. <clears throat> God, I'm worked up about this. This is when injustice becomes law, resistance becomes what? Former Glendale police officer criminally charged for kicking and tasering a handcuffed man in the groin has pleaded guilty to a single misdemeanor count of disorder. Oh, it's just disorderly conduct. $115. We're going to be free. No problem. July 15th, uh, Matthew Schneider and other officers repeatedly tasered Johnny Wheatcroft. No regard for his life. No regard for his family. Who was the passenger in a vehicle stopped for an alleged blinker violation. Lie. You, you guys falsified a document. In front of his two children and his wife, Wheatcroft was tasered nearly a dozen times. Schneider delivered the final tase to the hand, handcuff Wheatcroft by pulling down his shorts. Let's add insult to in injury and just humiliate this guy in front of his kids. Let's go for broke. As a very severe punishment that's already happened to you. Schneider was originally facing three felony aggravated assault charges. Again, his plea deal is for a single misdemeanor disorderly conduct charge. Look at that. Disorderly conduct instead of three aggravated assault charges, no jail or probation, $115 in fines and fees. That's called qualified immunity. In other words, he's immune from any prosecution. He's immune from any justice that might come his way. He's immune for, for uh, feeling the consequences of any of his evil actions. And guys, if this ain't evil, there ain't no such thing as evil on this earth. Hey, donut operator, pick this one up. I challenge you, donut operator, to pick up the Matthew Schneider story and tell your people about it. This ain't, and guys, this is not an isolated incident. I just got done doing a video, uh, you know, hopefully I'll have it up uh, tomorrow or the, uh, the day after, about a guy who, I'm not going to tell you what, you know what, I, I can't give it away, it's going to be too much of a spoiler, but you're going to want to tune into that one, because it's going to be like, it's from La, La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's an amazing, another amazing example of tyranny. And this stuff is not rare. These aren't isolated cases. This happens all the time. And this same spirit is in every police officer. This is the same spirit, by the way, that allowed, uh, what, was the, what was the guy's name? Her name was uh, Jalali. Her last name was Jalali. I can't remember the, the guy's name. But this is what allowed those two cops uh, to abuse Karen Garner and break her bones and leave her in a cell whimpering in pain. This is the same spirit that allows that one officer to tackle that little kid. By the way, I got a report coming up about that guy. That's the guy that um, Brandon Tatum, the officer Brandon Tatum said, oh, he's just going to soften him up a little bit as long as he's not hit him in the face. 
loves that, loves that adult abuse of children as long as the adult is wearing that funny costume and that badge. This is the same spirit that violates the rights of every single one of you that go into a library and record or stand on a street corner in a public, uh, a public sidewalk and record. This is the same spirit that allows the um, Philip Brailsfords of the world to shoot at Daniel Shaver, who's trying like crazy to follow these rapid fire commands. Daniel Shaver, James Boyd, Philando Castile, all of them were trying to obey the officer's commands. And what they get for their troubles? Well, they're no longer with us. This guy's got the same spirit, and this is the same spirit that was pardoned by this judge. Oh, no, prob pr no probation, no fees. No, just get on with your life. Go on, assimilate back into society. Wait till this guy's got problems, man. We're going to hear from my, uh, M. Schneider again, Matthew Schneider. No jail, no probation. But Judge Starr did order Schneider to pay fines and fees, totaling $115. And that's going to be my sentence. I think it's time for everybody to move on. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You weren't you weren't tased in the private parts, Judge. I think it's time for everybody to move on. I think it's time to put this judge in jail for 60 days after she's been tased 11 times by brutal, uncaring, merciless police officers on a 108-degree hot summer day on the pavement in front of your family. I think I think whatever whatever sentence they uh, push under the carpet, that same th that same action, the reason this guy's in the courtroom, that same action could should befall them. And nobody should listen to their cries for for mercy and justice. This is so unjust, man. And what makes what the only thing that makes it unjust is she wouldn't want the same thing done to her or to anybody in her life that she loves if she has the capacity to love. Because, you know, I'm not so sure about these psychopaths. I don't think they can love anybody but themselves. Matter of fact, clinically, if you have narcissistic personality disorder, like it looks like a lot of these cops have that Rene Bernays is constantly talking about, I don't think it's possible, clinically speaking, for these people to love anybody but themselves, to care about anybody but themselves. It's all about them. It's all about the, the adrenaline rush for them. It's all about them grabbing somebody and throwing them against their will, against a car, or breaking out a windshield because they went five miles an hour over the speed limit. Um, I have no doubt that you're going to continue to have a huge impact in your community just as you have for so many years. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to have a, a huge... This is a, this is a cesspool, a walking cesspool. This is a, <clears throat> this is a guy who's, who's got some evil stuff going on in his heart. We're going to see this Matthew Schneider. I bet if you followed him around, you'd find out that the, you know, the community probably doesn't want him around. So she's going to let somebody that's that, that is that outrageously psychopathic out into the community. Thanks judge. Thanks for protecting us. There are many more Johnny Wheatcrofts to come. If they cross Matthew Schneider, I have no doubt that you're going to continue to have a huge impact on your community. Just as you have for so many years. Now, the victim and his family did sue. A settlement has been reached, but has not been officially finalized. So far, the terms are confidential. We're still working to get more information about how much this will cost taxpayers. I'm Investigator Dave Biscoving, ABC 15, Arizona. Dave, you know what? This Dave Biscoving hats off to this guy, because like I said, if it wasn't for this guy's journalistic prowess, we would not have the body cam footage showing exactly what these cops did to Johnny Wheatcroft. And even with the body cam footage, those cops continued to lie about this infraction. They continued to cover for the thin blue line. Even with it recorded on video, clear case of, of, of criminal brutality and assault on an unsuspecting innocent man, still gets to walk free. Where's the justice in that? When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. When 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 uh, punishment against a, an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men are fully set in them to do good. I don't know if you guys can hear Dakota snoring back there. <clears throat> let me check. Uh, let me just real quick check the uh, the cash app. In jail, unjustified, totally unjustified. Renee Brene says we need a critical mass of critical thinkers. We really do, and we need it asap. We really, really need it asap. I appreciate you guys being in here. Please hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment under this video. There's two things I need you to do. Actually, three. Actually, four. Subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification icon so you can be alerted when I upload content. Check to see if you've been unsubscribed because I'm having people saying, hey, man, I was unsubscribed from this channel and this channel and this channel of yours. Um, so uh, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon. Give this video a thumbs up right now. Let's see if we can get to 400 thumbs up right now. Um, share this video and especially comment because when there's engagement, it really overcomes the algorithm. Let the world know and the Global Thought Police know what you think about Matthew Schneider and, and this judge's light sentencing of his misdemeanor disorderly conduct charge. It makes it seriously, you can, if you think about this too hard, it, you can feel your, your face just starts to flush and you just, your stomach starts to turn. It's like, God, I would not want that freaking thing done to me. And you know, this guy's going to get a settlement, but it's going to cost the people in Glendale. It's not going to cost the police department. It's no skin off their nose. They don't care. They've got no skin in the game. They'll take your skin while they're playing a game. 
It's like that cop told me, that cop at the, the Washington Monument. He goes, you're just playing a game. It's like, that's what these guys think about somebody exercising their rights. They look at it as, oh, you're just playing a game. You're just trying to bait me. How can I bait you into doing anything evil when I'm doing something right? That's why it's called a right, you know? It's called a right because it's the opposite of a wrong. You're doing the opposite of a wrong. You're, you're engaging in and exercising what is right, and they are looking to do something that is wrong because they're violating your rights. Imagine that. I'm in the seat of power. I'm right down the street from the Smithsonian Institute or wherever they keep the, the, um, the, the Constitution of the United States. I'm right down from where they sign the Declaration of Independence, or at least have it under glass. And the ironic thing is the cops who swore to protect and serve the Constitution of the United States, which equals protecting and serving the liberties of the American people in the Washington Monument. Oh, you can't record here. Yeah, never mind that it's part, part of the First Amendment, freedom of press. And just so we're all on the same page, what are the five elements of the First Amendment? R-A-P-P-S, religion, assembly, petition, press, speech, even Congress, the con men of Congress, which is the opposite of progress, can't abridge the freedom of religion, assembly, petition, press, speech. And that is supposed to be the law of the land, the supreme law of the land, like nothing is above it. But the officers, you know what they do? These cops, these tyrants, these, uh, these road pirates, they put themselves above the supreme law of the land and they go, oh no, you can't have you, you got to have credentials for press. Well, do I have to have credentials for religion? Do I have to show my credentials to show you which God I serve or don't serve? Do I need credentials? Is there an assembly credential? Is there a petition? Do I, is there a special petition credential that I have to hand you? Is there, do you have to have a credential for, to, to exercise my freedom of speech? No, 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 no. Then I don't need a credential for press. There is no such thing as a press pass. You are press if you're recording a historical event. Period. Religion, assembly, petition, press, speech. Unbelievable. And it's the most simple thing in the world. You don't need to know every single word of the First Amendment. All you got to do is know what your rights are and exercise your rights. Because if you don't exercise your rights, you will lose your rights. And guess what? People like Matthew Schneider, they're intending on taking your rights by force. Subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody. You know, especially leave a comment and let me know what you think about Matthew Schneider's sentencing and what the black robe tyrant actually said about him. I appreciate you guys. I will do another live stream later today. It's going to be like in two or three hours. You'll want, you'll want to see what happened with the, let me, let me go to my, let me go to my, my, here's the deal channel. You'll want to see what happened to this guy right here. Curbs. Let, let me, let me refresh this your officer right here. I, I failed to give you this officer's name, but I just saw somebody gave me a, a, a report about what ended up happening to this officer who's on top of this kid, pummeling him into submission, not because he committed a crime, not because he broke out a window or threatened to threaten somebody or harm somebody or stole their property or damaged their property and didn't pay for it because he thought he was engaged in the voluntary transaction of changing, exchanging dollar bills for tobacco. That's why he's on his chest. And I don't care how you slice it. This is still little people abuse. I will see you guys in the next live stream. My, my next live stream is coming up at five or five 30. I haven't determined, but I'll try to give you guys enough lead time. I appreciate you guys being in here. Have a good day. Hit the like and leave a comment. Take care.